Hello and welcome to How to Helen, where you learn something different every day. Today we will be replacing the water pump, thermostat, and drive belt on a 2002 Chevrolet Tracker. The previous owner said that the water pump seems to be on its way out, which is the reason why we're replacing it today. Before removing the drive belt, loosen the bolts that are on the water pump pulley. They are 10mm bolts, so use a 10mm socket to remove them. With a 14mm socket, wrench, and makeshift breaker bar, release the tension on the belt tensioner so you can remove the belt from the water pump. Start removing the bolts on the pulley of the water pump. Remove the pulley from the water pump. There are five bolts on the water pump. Three you can see on top, two at the bottom. So remove them, although I can't show you the one at the bottom because there's no space to put the camera on. Don't forget to put the bucket in the bottom so you can catch all the coolant that's spilling. There's two long bolts holding the water pump to the engine. These are 12 millimeter bolts. Use a 12 millimeter socket to remove them. Once you get all the screws out, there's a notch here where you can put a flathead screwdriver to pry out the water pump from the engine. Fortunately, the bottom bolt is being blocked by a bracket, so I, I would have to remove the whole thermostat housing along with the water pump. I'm going to start removing the thermostat hose. course, a lot of coolant is going to pour out. A little more. Then remove the thermostat housing with a 10 millimeter. Now, there's one more at the bottom. Almost broke it. Silly. And there's your thermostat. I was gonna do a separate video for this, but I guess I'm doing it at the same time. Oh well. Here's a side-by-side -side comparison of the old thermostat and the new thermostat. There are two bolts that's holding the thermostat housing, a 12 millimeter bolt. One is here on top, one is at the bottom where you cannot see it, but use a 12 millimeter socket to take it off.
So you don't really need to take out the whole thermostat housing, but you need to shift it to the right because there's one screw hiding over there that you need to gain access to in order to take out the water pump. Now, I don't know who decided to put it there, but that's a little tricky. So if you don't shift it to the right, then there's no way that you can access that bolt. Oh. And there's your bolt. Make sure that there's no more screws or bolts holding the water pump. And when you're sure, then pry it out. <clears throat> and there's your water pump. Looks okay. Before putting the new water pump, clean the surface mounting area. Dry all the surface mounting areas with a clean towel before putting some gasket maker on them. While we're waiting for the water pump and thermostat housing surface area to dry up, while the dry belt is off already, might as well replace it. wasn't that easy. For this next step, I'm going to put silicone gasket maker on the thermostat housing and on the water pump. So I'm going to put them all together and I won't, I won't be able to talk anymore since I'm going to be concentrating so I don't screw up. Put the two long bolts for the thermostat housing.
put the two long bolts that holds the water pump to the engine which is again a 12 millimeter bolt that you use a 12 millimeter socket Make sure you check the correct torques for this bolt so you don't over torque them. Now we're putting the pulley back on the water pump. But before we do that, we're going to put some tread lockers on the bolts so that we don't have to over tighten it when we put the bolt back in, its, in the water pump. And if you got messy like I did, just wipe it off so that it doesn't get sticky on the pulley of the water pump. Using a 10 millimeter socket and a socket wrench, just tighten it up. The thread locker will help it grip in place so you don't have to over tighten it. Now with a 14 millimeter socket and socket wrench and makeshift breaker bar, press down on the tensioner so you can put the belt back. Make sure that the belt is in its correct position. There you go. Just double check so that the belt doesn't jump on you when you're running the vehicle. Alright, like it's in place. Now we're putting the thermostat in the car. Dab a little gasket maker on the outside of the thermostat housing. Put the thermostat on. Make sure that this notch is on top, not at the bottom. Because this will release the bubble so it doesn't have air locks in the coolant. And again, make sure that the thermal detector is facing the engine. Also, dab the outer thermostat housing with casket maker to make sure that there's no leak. Now, put the outer thermostat housing back in its position. And put all three screws. Put back the coolant hose on the thermostat housing. Let the silicon gasket completely dry first before putting in some new coolant. So that's how you replace a dry belt, a water pump, and a thermostat on a 2002 Chevy Tracker. So that has been another episode of How to Helen. My name's Arja. Thank you for watching.